Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli and today our topic is how to create invoices for Shopify orders in Xero. So here what I want is that as I'm running my Shopify store, I automatically want to create invoices for all the orders that I'm receiving from my Shopify store. So here for creating an invoice, I'm going to use Xero and for doing this automatically, what I need to do is I need to build a connection between Shopify and Xero. So here for building this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. Now with Pabli Connect, as I'm going to receive a new order from my Shopify store, then automatically I'm going to create the invoice for that order by using Xero. So how I'm going to build this connection for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen and today we are going to see that how we can create invoices for Shopify orders in Xero. So imagine I'm running an online store on Shopify and I want to automatically generate invoices in Xero every time a customer places an order. But manually creating invoices for each order can be time consuming, especially as my store scales. So with the help of Public Connect, I can automate this process, ensuring that each new Shopify order triggers the creation of corresponding invoice in Xero without any manual intervention. So here what is going to happen is that as I'm going to receive a new order on my Shopify store, then automatically it will create a new invoice in Xero for that particular Shopify order. So here all this is going to happen automatically with the help of Public Connect. And with Public Connect, I can build this automation between Shopify and Xero without any coding and programming skills. So here I just need to connect Shopify and Xero and I'm going to do that with the help of Public Connect. So for using Public Connect, I need to open a new tab and I need to search for pabli.com slash connect in my browser. And this will take us to this landing page of Pabli Connect. Now here in my landing page, I have these two options of sign in and sign up for free. If we don't have any account with Pabli Connect, then we can just click on this sign up for free button. And this will take only two minutes of our time and we will get 100 tasks free every month. Or if we already have an account, we can just sign in and we will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I just need to click on this X and Now button under Pabli Connect and it will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here in the dashboard, what I need to do is I need to create a new workflow and for that, I'm going to click on this Create Workflow button and this window will pop up. Now here I need to name my workflow, so I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to Create invoices for Shopify orders in Xero. Now what I need to do is I need to click on create. And here this will take us to this most important window for our workflow. Here in this window, I have these two boxes of trigger and action. So trigger and action are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action is just going to follow that. So we need to first set up my trigger. So here in our workflow, we can only set up single trigger step and multiple action step. So here for setting up my trigger, what I need to do is I need to first search for my trigger application and here my trigger application is going to be Shopify. So I'm going to search for that. And now I'm going to select Shopify here. Now I have to give a trigger event, so I'm going to open this tab and new order will be my trigger event here. So I'm going to select this. And now what I need to do is I need to connect Shopify with Pabli Connect in my workflow. And for that, I need to use this Fabook URL. So this Fabook URL is going to work as a bridge between Shopify and Pabli Connect. And for connecting these two applications, I need to follow all these instructions. And first I need to copy this Fabook URL and now I need to take you to my Shopify account. And now in the Shopify account, what I need to do is I need to go to settings. So I'm going to click here. And now in settings, I need to scroll down. And here I have this option of notifications. So I'm going to open this. Now in notification, I have this option of Vabooks. So I need to use this Vabooks to connect Shopify with Pabli Connect. So I'm going to open this. And now in Vabooks, I need to create a new Vabook. So I'm going to click on this create webhook button and here I need to first select my event. So I'm going to open this tab and here I'm going to search for the event of order created. So I'm going to select order creation as my event and here my format is going to be JSON and now I need to give my URL. 
So here I'm going to paste my Webhook URL that I've copied from Pabli Connect. So I'm going to paste that here. And now I need to select my API version. So I'm going to open this tab. And here this 2024.07 latest version is going to be my Webhook API version. So I'm going to select this. And now I have to click on save. Now I've successfully added my Webhook and I've connected Shopify with Pabli Connect. Now what I need to do is I need to go to Pabli Connect. And here in Pabli Connect, we can see it is waiting for Webhook response. And how I'm going to get this Webhook response? For that, I need to first create a new order in my Shopify store. So for creating a new order, I need to take you to my Shopify store. And here, this is my Shopify store. And in this, I have these two products of chair and mobile. Now what I need to do is I need to select any of the product and I need to create a new order. So I need to select this product of chairs. So I'm going to select this. Now I'm going to create the order for this chair. So I need to click on buy it now. So here what I need to do is I need to fill all the detail of my customer and first I need to give the email address. So the email will be demo user at the rate pablitudes.com. Now I'm going to fill the delivery details. So first I need to give the first name that will be demo. Last name will be user. I'm going to give an address. Address will be new street. I'm going to give the apartment number that is going to be B93. I'm going to give my city. So city here will be Bhopal. State is Madhya Pradesh and I'm going to give a random PIN code. Now I need to make the payment. So I'm going to use the payment method and I'm going to use cash on delivery as my payment method. So I have selected my payment method and now I'm going to click on complete order. And here we can see I have successfully created this new order on my Shopify store. So as I've created this order on Shopify, what should happen is that automatically the detail of this order should be sent to Pabli Connect. So to check whether I've received the order detail in Pabli Connect or not, I'm going to take you to Pabli Connect. And here in Pabli Connect, we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response. And in this, I have all the detail of my order that I've just created in Shopify. I have the total tax amount, which is included the cash on delivery amount that is 450 rupees. Also, I have the total amount of my order that is 2950 Indian rupees. Also in this, I have the amount of my product that is 2500 rupees. And here, this is my tax amount that is 450. And I have all these other details of my customer. I have the state that is Madhya Pradesh. I have the name of my customer that is demo user. Also, this is the first name demo. This is the last name that is user. I have the city that is Bhopal. I have the country that is India. I have the address that is B93 New Street. Also in this, I have my currency code that is INR, which is for Indian rupees. I have my payment method that is cash on delivery. And these are all my other details. Like I have my order number that is 1010. And this is the name of my product that is a chair. And I have all these other details of my product. So this is the amount of my product and all these other details. So here we can see that as I've created a new order on my Shopify store, I have automatically received the detail of that order here in Pabli Connect. So here I have the response of my order from my Shopify store. And now what I need to do is I need to use this response of my order and I need to create a new invoice in Xero. So for creating a new invoice, what I need to do is I need to set up my actions tab. So I'm going to open this tab. And here my action application is going to be zero. So I'm going to search for that. And I need to select zero here. Now I have to give my action event. So I'm going to open this tab and create an invoice will be my action event. So I'm going to select this. And now I'm going to connect zero with Pabli Connect in my workflow. So I'm going to click on connect. I will click on add new connection. And now I need to connect with zero. So I'm going to click here. And here I need to scroll down. And I need to click on allow access to give the access to my account. So I'm going to click here. And here I have successfully connected Xero with Pabli Connect in my workflow. Now for creating an invoice, what I need to do is I need to fill all these details. And here what I need to do is I need to use the detail of my order that I received from my Shopify response. And automatically by using my Shopify response, I'm going to create an invoice in Xero. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Shopify response and I'm going to map all the required responses in these tabs. So here for that, what I need to do is I need to use mapping and what mapping is mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So here first I need to select my organization and the type. 
So here I only have one organization that is of demo company. So that is already selected. Now I need to select the type of my invoice. So I'm going to open this tab and here I want to create a sales invoice. So I'm going to select this as my type. And now what I need to do is I need to fill all these details. So here what I need to do is I need to first give the name of my customer for whom I want to create this invoice. So here I'm going to map the name of my customers. And for that, I need to click here. I will open this response of Shopify. And here I need to search for my customer name. And here, this is the name of my customer. So I'm going to map this. Now I have to give my invoice number, but I'm not receiving any invoice number from my Shopify response. So I'm not going to fill that detail. Now I'm going to give the email address of my customer. So I'm going to click here. I will open this response of Shopify. And here I'm going to search for the email address of my customer. And here, this is the email address. So I'm going to map this and I have mapped the email address. Now what I need to do is I need to give the date of my invoice and I need to give the due date. So in the date of the invoice, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the date of my order. So I'm going to map that. So I'm going to click here. I will open this response of Shopify and I need to find the date when this order was created. So here I have my date of created at, so I'm going to map this and now I need to give the due date. Now for the due date, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the time of one month in the date when I have created this order. Now here for getting my due date, what I need to do is I need to add one more action step between Shopify and Xero. So I'm going to click here and here I'm going to use date and time formatter and now I'm going to select date and time formatter. Now I have to give my action event. So I'm going to open this tab and here add slash subtract time will be my action event. So I'm going to select this. And now I'm going to connect date and time formatter with Pabli Connect in my workflow. So I'm going to click on connect. And now I need to first enter my date. So here in the date, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the created at date on which I have created my order. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of Shopify. And here, this is my created at date of my order. So I'm going to map this. Now I need to give my expression. So here I want to add one month in this particular date. So I'm going to add plus one month. So this is going to be my expression. And now what I need to do is I need to give my to format and the from format. So here I need to give my to format on which I want to change my date or I want to get my date in. And I need to select the from format that my date is in right now. So I'm going to select to format first. And I'm going to select my from format. And now what I need to do is I need to click on save and test to get button. And here it has given me this date. So this is my due date. And now what I need to do is I need to open this response of zero. And now in the due date, I'm going to map the date from my date and time formatter. So I'm going to open this response of date and time formatter. And here this is going to be my due date. So I'm going to map this. Now I'm going to scroll down. And now I need to first select my line amount types. So I'm going to open this tab. And here my product is exclusive of text. So I'm going to select line items are exclusive of text. So I'm going to select this and now I need to give my currency code. So I'm going to open this tab and I'm going to use my currency code as Indian rupees. So I'm going to select this and now I'm going to scroll down and I need to give my status. So I only want to draft my invoice. So I have selected my status as draft, but if you want to submit for approval, authorized or voided, then you can select different status too. I'm going to select draft here and here I have this option of send to contact. So if you want to send this invoice to your contact or to your customer, then you can select this option of true here, but I don't want to send this invoice right now. So I'm going to select false here. And now I need to give my line item description. So here in the line item description, I'm going to add the name of my product. So I'm going to click here. I will open this response of Shopify and I'm going to map the name of my product. So this is my product name. I have mapped that and I'm going to map the line item quantity. So I'm going to click here. I will open this response of Shopify and I'm going to search for quantity. So this is my product quantity that is one. So I'm going to map this. Similarly, I'm going to give line item unit amount. Now I need to give my line item code. If you have added all your Shopify products on your zero account, then you can select line item code according to that. But I haven't added those details. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this tab blank. So first what I need to do is I need to toggle on this map button and I need to clear this code. And now I'm going to leave this blank. Now I need to give my line item account code. So I'm going to open this tab and here sales is going to be my account code. So I'm going to select that. And now I'm going to select my text type. So I'm going to open this tab and here I'm going to use this text type of tax on goods. So I'm going to select this 
and now I have to give my line item tax amount. So I'm going to click here. I will open this response of Shopify. And here, this is my total tax. So I'm going to map this. Now I need to give my line item amount. And here I have filled the line item amount. Now I'm going to scroll down and I need to select my branding theme ID. So I have selected standard here and I have filled all the required details. Now, as I've mapped all these details here, I've made all these details dynamic. Now what is going to happen is that as I'm going to receive a new order from my Shopify account and I'm going to receive a new response, then automatically all these details that I've mapped here are going to get replaced with the new detail in the real time. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test to quit button. So I'm going to click here. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response and this means that I have created a new invoice on my Xero account. So to check whether I've created a new invoice in Xero or not, I'm going to take you to Xero. I'm going to go to business and in business, I need to go to invoices. So I'm going to open this. And here in invoices, we can see I've just created this new invoice that is built to demo user. So I'm going to open this. And here we can see I've just created this invoice in Xero. So here this invoice was built to demo user. So this was the name of my customer who had received the order from Shopify. This is my issue date that is 9th of September 2024. I have the due date which is one month ahead of this. That is 9th of October 2024. I have my invoice number and I have all the other details. Here I have the description or the product name that is a chair. So this was my product that I have received my order from Shopify. And here I have all these details of my product. Like I have the quantity that is one. I have my price that is 2,500. I have my account type that is of sales. I have my tax rate that is tax on goods. And here I have my amount that is of 2,500 rupees. Also in this, this is my tax amount that is added in this invoice. And this is the total amount that is 2,950 rupees. And this is my total amount for my invoice. Now here we can see that automatically I've created a new invoice in Xero with all the detail of my order that I've received from Shopify. So here I'm going to automatically create Xero invoices for the new Shopify orders. So I have done this automatically with the help of this automation that I've created by using Pabli Connect. And here I've connected Shopify and Xero together. Now as I'm going to receive a new order from Shopify, then automatically by using all the detail of that order, I'm going to create a new invoice in Xero. So here in Xero, I have automatically created this invoice for my Shopify order. Now let me take you back to Pabli Connect. And here in Pabli Connect, I have connected Shopify and Xero to automatically create invoices for Shopify orders in Xero. Now let's summarize what we did here. So first I've set up my trigger and my trigger application was Shopify and my trigger event was new order. Then I've set up my actions tab and first I've used date and time formatter as my action application. And here I have used at slash subtract time as my action event. Then I've set up my another action tab where I've used Xero as my action application and my action event was create an invoice. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this by using Pabli Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the rate pabli.com. And if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.